Hey YouTube, welcome back to another knife review. Today we're taking a look at this Avivi spiny dogfish. And this came in the normal Civivi pouch. And there you have some stickers, little pamphlet thing, microfiber cleaning cloth, and it is a nice soft cushiony pouch, which is nice for such a cheap knife. And here's the knife itself. You can see right there, Gavco's logo, Michael Gavick, OG knife YouTuber if you were around back then, but very cool. So on to some of the specs and measurements. Overall length is 7.81 inches. Blade length is 3.47 inches. Blade thickness, 0.12 inches. Handle length, 4.33 inches. Handle thickness, 0.51 inches. Weight is 3.07 ounces. And the blade material is 14C28N. Usually, these say the blade material, but they're kind of hidden. And I actually don't know if this one says it. I might have just not noticed where they put it yet. So, could be labeled on there somewhere, but 14C28N, a nice steal for this uh, price of knife. G10 handle scales, steel liners. See, they're skeletonized in there. Reverse tanto blade shape. With that compound grind, it is a flat grind on both of those. A lot of the time when you see this grind right here, that's more of like a hollow grind, like on the Mixed Rider Customs or can't remember there's there's a couple other knife makers that do that where they have a kind of a deep hollow grind and then either a convex or just a flat grind on the tip black washed blade kind of like a darkened stone wash there's also a bead blasted version of it with black g10 also a jade g10 and bead blasted blade Plain edge. Also, something about the edge you can kind of see right there. It almost came polished, like a like a mirrored polish. I don't know if they hit it on some like strop wheel or something before they shipped it, but very nice clean edge. Obviously, it is a liner lock. Pocket clip, right hand tip up only. You can see on this side, there's nothing, just the screw. They would have to have two pocket clips if they did a uh, reversible pocket clip. So it makes sense why they'd only do a right hand, which that's most common anyway. So kind of makes sense. Made in China because it is a Civivi. Onto the, the design of the knife, uh, rock pattern G10. You can see this cool pattern ground into that G10. It's almost like an ANSO pattern, but like just kind of a random rock pattern. Very cool. Good feel to it. I like the layers of the G10. You can see it's kind of like, a, I don't know if they sandblast G10, like a lot of the custom makers, you can tell their, their G10 looks weird after they like grind into it. And I think it's because they sandblast it and Kind of rough it up a little bit, but very cool look to it. Large thumb hole in the blade. That's your only opener, no flipper or anything. Choil right there. Big enough to be usable. You can really grip up on it. Don't have to be too scared of cutting yourself or anything. It's a nice full-size choil. A 
like I think all Civivis. Little bumps right there, kind of jimped uh, pattern in the liner. Makes it nice and easy to unlock. Pocket clip is just a stamped steel clip, flush screws. The pocket clip isn't sunk down into the G10 or anything, but the screws are at least sunk down into or countersunk into the pocket clip, so that's nice. Kind of just their standard clip where it's got that little window so you can access the screws for the deep carry clip. Black blade, black hardware. All matching, very nice looking. I like the combo of the black and the green. Uh, my other um, Civivi that had the option for the black and the green, I went with the uh, black G10 and plain bead blasted blade. So I thought I'd switch it up for this one. That nice compound grind that I mentioned earlier, kind of unique, especially to this price range. And that's something that I don't think if it was an in-house design that they'd throw in there. So that's definitely a, a Gavco thing that why they did it. Because you don't really see their uh, their factory designs coming out with unique characteristics like that. It's on bearings, like all CVV knives, and it's very smooth. You can see it drop there. Just effortlessly, nice and smooth. Onto the pros, came with a nice sharp clean edge. Give a little cut on camera, see if I can get it to cut. Yeah, not bad. So, nice sharp edge, that's the most important thing about a knife, so that's nice there. Uh, I think it looks really cool. Definitely a unique design, but I mean, it looks like a Gavco, so. That's why I bought it, because Gavco designed it. So I have a um, Gavco Thresher from Drop that you can see on my channel, and also the Gavco Shark Knife, I believe it's called. The, just a little fixed blade that he made probably, probably 10 years ago. So I definitely wanted to add another Gavco design to the collection, and I think the... Design is very Gavco looking and also very unique in general. I think this look goes very nice with this color combo also. That green rock pattern, the black blade, very cool, mean looking. Handles nice. Feels good in the hand. I've always liked thin handles to kind of big blades tall blade skinny handle like back here and right here how thin that handle is top to bottom and then you can see how big the blade is but still obviously goes right down in there uh, I've always liked that a lot that's kind of one of the designs that like um, reminds me of like an Elijah Isham design I think a couple of the designs I have of his kind of has that tall blade to skinny handle ratio that I just really like Flicks out easy, and like I said, it is very smooth because of those bearings. On to the cons. So lately, I haven't really had many cons on the uh, knives that I've bought. It's kind of been hard to think of them, but for these ones, they kind of just jumped out. The uh, thumb flip isn't the easiest, so getting your thumb down in the hole, that's nice and easy. It's nice and smooth, and the detent is strong, but... The only thing is it's hard to hold on to the knife to get a good like purchase to do it because of the handle being so skinny. You kind of have to grip onto the pocket clip and stuff to be able to have enough grip to really get it to flip out. Then I'm kind of pushing on the pocket clip kind of hard, which I don't really like to do that because, I mean, it's just a thin steel clip. I don't want to push it too hard, but... Obviously works, just not as comfortable as like a big knife would be, or a kind of a, a tall knife would be. When you're doing the middle finger flick or the index flick, 
you're kind of holding it between your palm and your thumb. So no risk of like throwing it there, but definitely just, I don't know if they needed to upsize everything, still keep the ratio of the blade to the handle, but just make it a little taller maybe. But it's just a little tough to hold on to it when you flip like that. I definitely wouldn't do it all day. I mean, when, when I flick it open, I usually just uh, finger flick it with my middle or index finger. So yeah, just kind of a little too narrow right there, I think. Final judgments, and then I'll show some uh, comparisons of it, but I really do love it. Um, like I said, I bought it because it's a Gavco design, and I wanted another Gavco design. So uh, very nice that it looks like a Gavco. He didn't just kind of send him a random design or anything. It looks like something that he really tried to design, and I think it took a while for them to kind of produce them because I saw for a long time of the prototypes on his Instagram channel and I was waiting for ever for them to release it. I think for fifty eight fifty, which is the current price on Blade HQ, very good price. Fourteen C twenty eight N bearings, nice quality control and everything. It seems perfectly centered. Lockup is great. I think for all of that for fifty eight fifty, amazing price. Especially with that nice fourteen C twenty eight N steel, easy to sharpen. Everybody seems to love it for a budget steel. It's kind of just the perfect budget steel. It's not, not expensive. It's not super hard or anything. Nice corrosion resistance. It's also easy to carry. I think the first day I got it, I carried it in shorts. Just because it's heating up. So I'll definitely be carrying it all summer because it's a nice thin package. 3.07 ounces, like I said. So perfect for shorts. You don't have to have a super small two inch blade or anything while wearing shorts you can still have this full 3.47 inch blade and you can see it all you know, wrapped up i definitely recommend it if you're looking for a knife if you're a gavco fan i would definitely recommend it because i think it's the cheapest design of his you can get right now probably the drop ones, the BRS ones, those are all a little more expensive. Here's a comparison to his old buddy, Tough Thumbs. Also one of the OG Knife YouTube guys, so that's why I bought this one. And I'll demonstrate with a handle a lot wider, you can hold a lot better to do your thumb flip. So... It's kind of just the only complaint I have with that one, but nice and easy on this one. I have been carrying this one for a few weeks now just to kind of test it out every day to review it. And uh, can't wait to put this one back in the pocket. You can see size-wise, they're pretty close. Probably the same blade thickness, 14C28 in on them both. Handle thickness is probably about the same. So, very similar knives, just different shapes pretty much. And like I said, this one comes in this pattern, and this one comes in this pattern. So, you can get matching ones if you want, or you can get different ones, like what I did. And another one, the, oh, that's the ODD20 by Civivi. I didn't mention that. And then the Civivi Riffle. This is an in-house design, I believe. So... As you can see, a little more plain looking, not as unique of a style like Gavco. Pretty similar, should be pretty similar blades. I think this one looks a little thicker, handle wise. Oh, pretty similar. I think that's pretty much it. I do love it. I love carrying it. Definitely going to love carrying it this summer.
probably carry it fishing and stuff because, you know, spiny dog fish. Got to keep with the theme. That's pretty much it. If you want to see a review of those other two knives, then check out the channel because they are already up. And if you like the channel, give it a subscribe. Help us grow. And thanks for watching.